Welcome to Environmental Systems. As the name says, you're going to learn about systems in the environment. A lot of what you learn here you'll have seen in biology or even in middle school in chemistry. We're going to put all of that together in this senior level class and do some research. You're going to find once you leave school that the amount of stuff you have to remember isn't as much as you might think. You've got Google in your pocket on your phone now. You can look stuff up. The skill is in knowing how to find information and how to present it. So that's kind of what we're going to focus this class on. You're going to research the systems in a national park somewhere in the world. You're going to choose first. You're going to research it and you're going to present the information. And you're going to present the information in a website. Why a website? Why not just another PowerPoint? Well, I think you'll know how to build PowerPoints already. And so far I haven't found a student that knows how to build a website before they take this class. And it's a useful thing to know how to do. You might need it at work, you might need it in, in your school life, or you might just have a, an organization of your own, a group of friends working on a project. Um, and need a website. So it's going to be something that's going to come in handy. And I'll tell you what, it's not as hard as it sounds. We're going to use Google Sites. It's really no harder than making a PowerPoint. It's just a website. So to get started, we've got two things we need to do. First of all, we need to figure out which park you're going to study. And then you need to set up a website and tell me what its address is. So let's start with finding a park to study. On the front page here, parks that you may be interested in. If you click that, it takes you to a takes you to a list of parks. I copied this list off of Wikipedia. Here's the link. And in it you'll see I've got a park. If you click the name of the park, it takes you to the Wikipedia page. You can see something about it there. Uh, it tells you what country it is, how big it is. The biggest one's at the top, and they get smaller. You see this bit over here? This is a YouTube video, which for some reason on my website doesn't work in Chrome. But if you load this page in Internet Explorer, then there's a very short YouTube video which tells you a little bit about it. You know, it might just be... A video of I think there's one of some leopards hunting so just a little bit to see what the parks like because you're gonna be studying this park for both a part a and part B so I suggest you choose one that you're actually interested in I put the biggest ones at the top because they're gonna be the easiest ones to find information for um, but there's some interesting ones down here at the bottom as well once you've chosen a park, you're going to make a website, and there's a link down below that'll show you how to make a website, and then you're going to tell me the website address, and there's a video on there that explains that. So first things first, open an internet, open Internet Explorer, uh, load up this website, and have a look at parks you may be interested in, and choose one. Oh, and a little tip, write down its name because you'll need to be able to spell it properly for the next bit. 